Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video in 3D Code. Well, over the last 10 years I did a lot of videos in Maya, so now it's time to do a bunch of videos in 3D Code. And today is going to be one of those days. Uh, I'm going to show you how to split edges, right? And I'll also explain why you would want to. So let's go in here into our poly modeling room. And what I'm going to do is go to my, uh, where is it, 3D Primitives tab. And we already have a uh, sphere selected, this guy right here. We're going to go in here, we're going to increase the radius to make it a bit bigger. We're going to increase subdivision to make it a bit rounder. And there you have it. Now, interesting fact in uh, 3D code, when you create a sphere, you have options to choose the division type. Right now, you can see that we have triangles, right? I can go in here and I can change this to meridian. And when I do that, I get something that you would get, let's say, in Maya, right? From here, I can then again increase these numbers, the, the parallel and the meridian numbers, and I got now a nice smooth uh, sphere. Or I can also go in and click on cube projection. Now, uh, cube projection has the advantage that it doesn't have poles like on the meridian model, like this, top and bottom. But uh, the reason why this is cool is if you go to the subdivision level 2, you will see that it's actually a cube that started all this, right? But for this uh, video, I'm going to use the Meridian because that's what I would use for a Pac-Man type model, right? Okay, now I'm happy with this, so I'm going to apply to commit to my shape here. Then I'm going to go up to my selection tool. I'm going to go and select edges, and then I'm going to start somewhere around here. Uh, maybe here and the selection is too big so let me hit control D to deselect I'm gonna get in here I'm gonna right click and push to push that brush down if you will and then from here I'm gonna go one two three four five something like that right so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to hit my spacebar and I'm gonna go to a split edge and click on it so this has now been split and you're probably saying well how do i know well what we're going to do is we're going to go up to vertex and we're going to go in here grab one of them and then i'm going to go to the left here and i'm going to look for uh where is that thing right here free moving and let me just push this down and there you have it the edges have been split so that's all there's to it and it can come in handy once in a while right so now you know how to do that. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'd love to see you guys in the next one. Bye.